Hey friends, I am back. What was that hand? What is that? Can we wave like that? Okay, let's try this again. Hi friends! Why don't my hands move? It just <laughs> fell. Why? Friends! This is like my fifth take. I'm having an awkward day today, but I am determined to film this video. <sighs> Deep breath. Okay, here we go. Friends! I missed you! How the heck are you? What is going on? It's so good to see you guys again. So on today's video, we are doing a cozy craft day. It is very gloomy where I live, um, very cold outside, and I'm feeling kind of off. I have some sinus stuff going on right now. So I just want to stay indoors, and I've been in my artsy fartsy mode. So let's craft together. Grab a cup of coffee, grab some snacks, and enjoy. <laughs> Starting off our Sunday with a little bit of self care. Woohoo! Well, good morning. It's like jellyfish on my eyeballs. Oh, it feels good. I found this one at like Marshalls or something. It's aloe vera and cucumber. It's cooling under eye mask. I really don't think it does anything, but it makes me feel like I'm doing something for myself, which makes me feel good. So we do it. <laughs> Here is one thing that I've been working on, making little hats for the jelly cats. And <laughs> how cute, detective. <laughs> oh, it's like a little bonnet, right? So I'm having so much fun making these. I wanna try making different colors of them. I also need to get my sewing machine set up. Um, I usually have my mom do it for me. Um, yeah, I'm an adult, but I need my mother. Um, <laughs> and she lives very far away, so I'm gonna have to do it all by myself. You guys, you had to the babies. Hi, the babies. Hi, Buckaroo. Let's get your morning boogers out. Oh, good boy. And is that my bed? She's trying to get my strap. <laughs> and you can't forget Cat. She's hanging out by the heater right now. You nice and toasty, Chunk. Hi, baby. Here are some of the projects I'm working on currently. I'm making cute little figurines out of uh, clay. And it's my first time using air dry clay. So I don't know if I like it yet. Um, I think I do prefer just throwing it in the oven. I feel like it turns out better, but you know, we're trying new things. So right now we're at the point where I'm gonna sand it down to make everything smooth. And then I'm going to paint everything. crying I just broke its ear off why my goodness I am being so terribly messy but look at my little bunny biscuits <laughs> look how adorable my little bunny biscuits turned out I'm just waiting for them to dry and then next I'm gonna paint the little heart on my ghosty pink
No, no, I got it on his little hand. So remember how I told you I messed up? I went with the mess up and decided to do pink as shadowing. So we'll see how he turns out. I think he's kind of cute though. Like Bob Ross says, there is no such thing as a mistake, only happy accidents. Could there be anything more precious in this entire world? way look at the new babies I made if you follow me on Instagram you guys have seen them but for everyone else I made my blue boy and I made my purple girl <laughs> I love them so much been snacking on Chex Mix all day, but I think my body needs some actual food, so let's see what we have. Hello, refrigerator. Hello, refrigerator. Hmm. Ooh, I made taco meat last night. I might do that in a salad. And then I remember that my husband brought home hamburger pizza. It has pickles on it, you guys. I think we have to try it. Oh my god. Goodness, that just doesn't look right. I think there's actual mustard and ketchup on it and pickles. Oh. Pray for me. Weird. I don't know about that man. <laughs> Yeah, that's just not natural. I like my pizza to taste like pizza, not like a hamburger. Um, let's keep those two separated in this life. Okay. Oh. Um, um, taco salad time. I just have a spring veggie mix. Spring salad mix? What am I saying? I don't know, guys. I told you. I'm feeling off today. I fucking love salsa. Leave me alone. Getting that sunshine, yeah. I, I probably need to take these off, huh? They're like drying up. Do I look brand new? No, I don't? Okay, yeah, I figured it. Catching up on some YouTube videos, eating chocolate. Um, I think I'm going to be getting my period soon because I just want to eat chocolate and cry all day. It's okay, we're girls, it's normal. <laughs> Importing, 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 importing. It's gonna take forever. We're having the zoomies. So I don't know what happened here, but my camera decided to film everything in slow motion and it did not pick up my voice. So I'm having to do a voiceover for this part first time, but here we go. This is me showing you guys my UV resin kit that I got in. Um, I ordered it today off of Amazon and I was so happy to get it. That's me showing you the UV light. 
It's my first time working with this type of resin. I've worked with other resin in the past and had an awful time with it, so I won something super easy, so I found this one. It was only $15 on Amazon. I figured, why not? Let's just give it a try. And it even came with a little silicone mat too. How exciting, huh? So this is me just checking to make sure that the lamp will actually fit over my little projects, and it does, so I'm very happy about that. And this is me trying it out for the first time. Please don't judge. Uh, like I said, first time doing this. So I'm just messing around, see what I have to do. And looking back through this, I definitely applied way too much resin. And now I am moving the bunny biscuits out of the pool of resin that I made. So just pushing them off to the side. And now I'm putting the UV light on for the first time. So I kept them under there for about seven to eight minutes. And here is my result of my bunny biscuit. So you can see there, lots of pulling on the bottom. Um, I found better techniques of what to do. I ended up doing a paintbrush next, which made the layers go on a lot better. Here is my smudge bunny result. I did this one with a paintbrush, and as you can see, a lot thinner coating. And then now I am just working on painting my ghosty and working on fixing the UV resin with the other ones. And here is the result. Look at my little ghosties. I am so proud of them and so beyond happy with them. I think they turned out so stinking cute. And here is everyone together. Oh, I'm so happy, you guys. Friends, I have very exciting news to share with you guys. And if you don't follow my Instagram, you don't know that I found Peanut. I found my boy. I did. I am so happy. So story time. Um, once I found out that he was missing that day, right, I ended up um, having to wait till the next day because it was too late for me to call. Um, all the stores I went to so I had to wait till the next day and your girl has uh, phone call anxiety But she did it. She would do anything for this boy. Yes, she would and she did um, So I called the four stores that I went to and let me tell you how Freaking funny it was calling stores asking them if they found a tiny monkey stuffed animal um, if you guys have free time definitely give stores a call and do it. People get very confused. Um, but yeah, so I called all the stores and no one said that anyone had turned it into a lost and found. So I was like, what if he's gone? Like he's gone. Um, but that day, later on that night, I asked my husband if he can go with me and just go check in the parking lots and look around. And I just had a really big feeling that I wasn't going to find him, but he was so sweet. And he's like, yeah, let's go. Like, we'll go look, you know. Um, so we get down there. Um, I go to the first store I went to, which was Ross. And I look in the parking lot, nothing. And he's like, I'm going to go run in and see if they have him. And I'm like, girl, I just, I just called them. They said that no one has turned him in. And he's like, whatever, I'm just going to go look. Um, so... He comes back in like two seconds. He's like, wait, have you gone into the stores and checked for yourself? Have you walked the aisles? And I'm like, no, why would I do that? Someone would have turned him in, you know? And not even thinking that it's Ross and there's just stuff everywhere. He could be sitting on a shelf in there. So I'm like, okay, fine. I'm not even dressed for the occasion. I've been crying all day, looking fugly as, you know, as a as you can imagine. And I go into the store and it was kind of fun actually because I was um, showing my husband that all the things I was looking at and I was like, oh, this made me think of you. Like, what do you think about this? So we ended up having a good time, but anyways, getting sidetracked. Um, so I'm like going through the entire store, almost done with the store and I'm like, wait, I looked at the comforters over there. So I go down the comforter aisle and I'm not seeing anything, not seeing him, and then I'm walking closer to it, and I see my boy just 
laying down there and I started, I don't even know what I did. I think I started screaming. I started crying. I started shaking. I could not believe that my boy was just sitting there. Uh, so I had to share that with you. I appreciate you and everyone that were, you know, putting out well wishes for me and hoping that I would find him. And I found him and it, it worked. It did. And I cannot believe it. I've never lost a plushie before and this was a new one for me. So now I am extra, extra, extra careful when I take him out of the house. <laughs> so having to film this voiceover because my camera, but I wanted to show you guys what I made for dinner tonight. Super easy meal for tonight. Udon with tofu and broccoli. Right now I am just sauteing my garlic. I'm just adding my tofu in now. With my tofu, I pressed it and I cubed it. And I used to be a vegetarian and vegan for like 10 or 15 years of my life. I love tofu. I still eat tofu on the weekly. This is how she's looking right now. Just still stirring it around. And what I'm going to do next, I'm gonna add in my seasoning packet from this udon. Um, I like to add it just to the tofu, I feel like. The tofu just soaks in so much flavor, so I add it at this part here. And we're just gonna stir that around now. And then I added in about three tablespoons of water to make more of a paste, and I'm just still stirring it. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so delicious. Oh, I love it so much. And then we're adding in our frozen broccoli. We're gonna stir that around and let it cook until the broccoli gets kind of soft. So here is how she is looking. Oh, looks so good. And our last step is that we're going to add in our udon noodles. And with this, I'm just gonna try to smush them down there, put a little bit of the liquid on the top of the tofu, the broccoli as well too. And then we're gonna cover it, put it on low, and let that cook for about five minutes. And this is what she's looking like. Oh, I am so excited to eat it. Yum. Alrighty, and here is my meal for tonight. Tofu and broccoli udon with my cute little clay friends. And of course my peanut. Yum. Another thing I wanted to chat with you guys about is the Jelly Cat Fergus fiasco. Were you guys there for it? Did you guys wake up early for it? I was there um, and yeah, it was wild. So let me share my story with you guys. So I was very excited for this drop, as you probably know, and my body naturally woke me up at 4.30 a.m. that morning. And I live in the Americas. Um, so I had to wait another, what was it, two and a half hours before the drop even happened. I was like, whatever, it's fine. You know, I'm just gonna play some video games or just do some art and just wait for the drop. Um, so I'm checking like every, I'm checking probably every like five to 10 minutes and just seeing if anything is released. And I start seeing that the um, website is getting updated and I start getting very excited. And then loading times start taking a really long time. It starts taking two minutes and starts taking three minutes. And I think for each refresh, it was like four minutes for me to reload it. Um, so that was wild. And the magic time of eight o'clock for me hits and there's no Fergus. And I'm a part of a jelly cat group on my Instagram. So all of us gals are chatting. We're like, what's going on? And one of the girls ended up reaching out to the jelly cat CEO. And they said that, yes, he's still going to drop. It's just not updating because there's so much traffic on the website. So we're like, okay, okay. You know, like everyone keep checking on it and just let us know if he gets updated. And I think like another like 30 minutes passes and then like another hour passes and just nothing absolutely nothing and we come to find out that the jelly cat ceo puts out that fergus is not going to be released because their website has crashed so at this point i think it was like 10 o'clock or something for me maybe like 10 30 and i'm like your girl's tired she's just going to bed you know like if i end up missing the drop whatever like at this point i'm just so tired and so over it and so stressed out 
um, we'll just to see what happens. So I ended up passing out. Um, I think I went to sleep for like, I don't know, like another like hour, hour and a half. And I woke up and one of the gals in my group said that he was Available. So I ran to Jelly Cat and oh my goodness, the load times, the load time for it took forever for me. Um, it was, oh, I felt like it was just so much like getting to the page, adding him to the cart, logging into my Jelly Cat account, checking out for everything. It took like, it was ridiculous. It took like 40 minutes or something for me. It, it probably, I'm exaggerating. I am so exaggerating right now, I'm sorry. It probably took like, realistically like 15 minutes. And, but I finally, the order was placed and I got a notification two days ago that he's supposed to come on the 10th, which I'm kind of like, why is this taking so long? I'm seeing everyone else on Instagram have gotten their Fergus and I wish that I ordered mine from Little Tulips. I didn't know he was dropping with Little Tulips and I should have waited for them because I love them and they're amazing and they ship so fast. I love you guys if you're watching. Love you so much. Um, I'm ordering from you from now on. Recommend you guys do too if you live in the United States. Uh, so yeah, I am waiting for my Fergus. Um, we'll see when he gets here. We'll see how I feel about him. Of course, I'm going to be doing a Jelly Cat unboxing video. Um, I got some other goodies in as well too. And if you follow my Instagram, you probably know who it is. But uh, yeah, until then, I just, it was wild. It was so like, how did you, were you guys a part of it? How was it for you? It, it was, I don't know, I don't wanna, I don't know. You know how the next drop is going to be on February? Uh, was it February 1st? I am not going to stay up for it. I'm just waiting for all my faves at Little Tulips and we'll go from there. So, yeah. And speaking about the next drop on February 1st, who are you guys most excited for? Who are you just after? Who can you not stop thinking about? Um, I want to know. Let me know in the comments below. The ones that I'm very excited about are to start off with um, the Bashful Bunny bag charms. Can you believe that? I know. I know. It's wild. I know. I just, me and bunnies, I would never go for that. Anyways, <laughs> I'm very excited for them and I am so excited for that Wonderlust, I believe it is, the Wonderlust puppy. Uh, he is kind of pricey for what he looks like, but I have a feeling he's going to be like one of those amazing, you know, one of the mains in the future, kind of like a smudge for me. So who are you guys most excited for? Let me know down below. <laughs> Alrighty, my friends. Well, thank you so much for spending the day with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am just going to relax for the rest of tonight. I'm going to edit this video, try to get it up tomorrow, which will be today when you see it. It's really weird, like talking in the future past. Anyways, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. And thank you everyone for reaching out to me. I read all of your comments all the time and I'm so sorry I don't respond. I have this thing where I get anxious and overwhelmed and I just don't do things and it keeps stacking up and building up. But I wanted to let you guys know that I read your comments, I hear what you're saying and I appreciate you watching me and I love you guys so much. Okay, well, until the next one.